Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name's Mallory and I'm a flight attendant. I love sharing my life here on YouTube with all of y'all. So today is not a work day, it is a commute day, which means I am just flying to get to work because if you're new here, I commute to base. I do not live where I'm based, so I do have to hop on a flight or drive to go to work every day. So my commute's a little bit different than your average person, but I've been doing this for four years and it really is all I know. So I was originally supposed to leave at like, I think 2.30 today but then the flight was delayed because our aircraft was late. So they pushed it back to like 3.30, so it's like an hour delay. Um, but I should get on just fine. Whenever you commute from a smaller regional airport like this, um, a lot of people are flying to this bigger airport to connect to other places. And if they're going to miss their connection, a lot of times they will either just drive to go to that airport or rebook on a different day. So this delay actually made lots of seats open up on my flight. So I am not worried about making it at all today. So it's 2.45 now. They have an estimated uh, boarding time of 3.13. So I'm going to get my things together and head inside and go through security. Okay guys, I made it through security and I didn't get rained in today, which was so nice. There was a couple months there where it's like every time I came through my home airport, I was always getting random. It happened, keeping track of our plane and it should be landing in the next 15 or 20 minutes. So once the plane gets here and they get it cleaned and get everyone deplaned, we'll start boarding and we'll be on our way to Houston. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day here in base. I spent the night at my crash pad last night to be here for my trip today. So it is 9.47 right now. I have an 11.18 check-in. So I've got plenty of time to get to the airport. Today we are working three flights. We are doing a Fort Myers turn out of Houston. And what a turn means is you're just going to one airport and then going back to the airport that you came from. So in this case, we are just doing a Fort Myers turn from my base, which is Houston. And then we will be working a trip to Sacramento Sacramento, California for a 14 hour layover there. Okay, hi guys, I'm finally here in Sacramento and I'm so sorry I like did not check in with you guys at all today. I worked three flights pretty much back to back to back with like no sit time in between the two and I actually kept the same plane all day long which rarely ever happens. So needless to say, I'm pretty tired and I'm ready to have some downtime but it was a really good day at work. I worked first class, but then whenever you work first class, once you get all of your meals out, your lead flight attendant works economy. So I'm a very busy bee, and then I help pick up and all that kind of stuff too. So here in Sacramento, it's been a really long time since I've stayed here, so I will give you guys a little room tour. It's a nice mirror whenever you first walk in, and then I've already got my bag set up. There's the desk area. TV, the bed, and there's actually like a window seat over here, but I've already closed the window because I'm going to be going to bed, but it's a really nice window seat. So it is 10.55 here in Sacramento right now, but let's see what time it is at home. It's 12.55 in Texas, so it is way past my bedtime, and I need to get some rest. We have like an 11.12 pickup in the morning, I think. I got an 11.42 pickup for a 12.17 show, and we are working two flights tomorrow. We are going from Sacramento to Denver, and then Denver to Vancouver, which I'm so excited about. It's my first time having a long layover in Canada, and I'm really excited to explore Vancouver. Okay, now that I am done talking, I'm going to hop in the shower and put on my pajamas. And here's the restroom. It's pretty nice, but the lighting, it's not the greatest. So we'll see how my makeup looks in the morning. <laughs>
just in bed eating some breakfast. I've got Greek yogurt, berries, and granola. And I'm going to watch the newest episode of The Bachelor. It is Bachelor season. And I used to be like a very avid Bachelor watcher for many, many years. And then I kind of got over it. Um, but I did watch the season premiere this year and it's only like the second week so this is the second episode and i do think i'm going to watch it i don't know if i'll keep up with it because it's just the same thing like over and over again you know every year so i do i prefer bachelor in paradise i think that is my choice um i like all the different contestants from different seasons and stuff when they come together um but yeah i just get kind of bored with the regular seasons of Bachelor and Bachelorette. Um, it's 7.43 now. I originally wanted to sleep until like 9 or 9.30, but of course I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and then I was kind of able to like halfway sleep a little bit longer and I woke up again at like 6.30, but that last hour I wasn't really like good sleep or anything. My room was so hot <laughs> and whenever I got into my room last night, it was like 72 degrees, which Normally that would be fine, but I was just like burning up and so, and I woke up in the middle of the night many, many times like burning up and I would turn down the air even more, but it would only go, the lowest would be 66, which just doesn't make sense because 66 would be so cold and my room was like not cold at all and it's cold here in Sacramento. It's like in the 40s, but oh well, I'm up. And we've only got to work two flights today, so hopefully I won't be so tired. I was so tired by the time we got here last night because it was it was like almost one o'clock in the morning, central time by the time I got to my room. So um, hopefully the weather's okay in Denver today. It's like 22 degrees or something in Dallas, and y'all know my parents live there. And my mom's a teacher, and it's supposed to snow like the next three days or something and so I'm pretty sure they've already like canceled school so I'm sure a lot of y'all like live in the Midwest and like live on the East Coast where it like snows all the time um, well in Texas we don't know how to handle snow and we literally cancel everything and close everything okay guys I've kind of just been watching my show and doing some kind of administrative things for my life at the end of the month like before a new month starts i feel like there's just always so many little things to do so i just called my own my home airport and purchased three more months of parking i do pay for parking at my home airport because i have a base and car or <laughs> i need to go back to sleep because I have a car in base and I have another car at home, I do use parking at two different airports and I get free employee parking in Houston because that's my base, um, but I do have to pay for my commuter parking at home, which it's really not too bad, so it's okay. Um, if I didn't have a car in Houston that I use the parking lot for, the company I believe would give me $30 a month for parking, which would be good, but I've got two cars, so I don't get to use that. Now I am shopping for a dress to wear for my husband's best friend's wedding. It is at the end of March, so I've got time, but I kind of just wanted to get a head start and find something that I want to wear. So it's like more like a spring wedding, so I wanna probably wear something like bright and fun, maybe floral. I think like the colors are pinks, and Josh is the best man, so. I don't want my dress to like clash with what he's wearing so they're wearing like tan suits and then like light pink ties so I think I probably want to wear some shade of pink that way will look cohesive and I won't stick out weird in pictures so um, I'm gonna show you guys the one that I'm thinking I'm gonna get Bailey one shoulder wrap front mini dress in pink and I don't really like the lighting in this picture of it but I've seen pictures of it and other lighting and I like it and I think I saw someone on Instagram wearing this dress but in a different style and it was super super cute so and I like that it's pink and I feel like it will look good with what Josh is wearing for the wedding okay guys I am all ready to go to the gym I felt like I should do something with my morning here in Sacramento I do think I'm going to go downstairs to the lobby first because if I remember correctly there's like a little coffee area where you can get a coffee and I really need one. So 
gonna go downstairs, get a coffee, and then find the gym. ready for work it's 11 29 and i don't have to be on the van until 11 42 but i'll probably head down in a few minutes just because i like to be early um let me know if y'all used to watch fly with stella she hasn't posted in a while but i still love her videos and love her channel but she would always make me so nervous when she would be like oh my gosh i have to be downstairs in two minutes but yeah i love her videos and i hope she posts again soon but let me know if you're one of those people who is always too early for things or too late because I'm the type of person I will get to a dentist appointment 30 minutes early and then have to just sit and wait in my car for them to be open. Um, but yeah, that's just me. <laughs> And sorry I didn't check in with you guys very much today. I worked from Sacramento to Denver. I was gonna have like a two hour sit, but that two hour sit turned into a three hour sit because um, my flight to Vancouver was delayed. Our plane was coming in late. Um, and so that was not very fun, but it's all right. We are here now and the flight was really good. All my passengers were great. We had lots of people with international uh, connections in Vancouver, which I wasn't really expecting, but then um, I saw that some of them were really tight connections. They were all connecting on Air Canada to either go to uh, Brisbane, Sydney, and then I think there was a Hong Kong too. So um, Air Canada is part of this alliance that we are in, and so a lot of times people will book travel on us and then one of these alliance partners and it kind of just like makes their travel more streamlined because we're in this like same partnership so it's really easy to travel on two different airlines and make connections that way so um the people who were going to brisbane theirs was the tightest connection there were six of them and i do think we were able to get them all off the plane first and they made their connection so that was really good um i'm gonna be here for the next 32 hours which i'm really excited about I've never had a long Canada layover. I've always just had short ones that are close to the airport. So I'm really excited to explore downtown Vancouver. I think I have a pretty good view out of my window. It's just so dark right now. It's kind of hard to show you guys. So I will be sure to show you in the morning. And oh, so I know y'all saw the clips earlier. I went to Voodoo Donuts in Denver. They just opened one and I never had their donuts before. And so I was like, you know, it's a long trip. It's a long couple of days of work, so I want to treat myself to a donut. And so I got the glazed old fashioned, and then they had one that was called Homer Simpson because it's just like a pink donut that looks like um, his favorite donut. So I got those two, and the girl who worked there was so sweet, and she's like, I went ahead and threw an extra one in there for you. So uh, she gave me three donuts. So very good. If you're ever in Denver, you should definitely go get a Voodoo donut. They're delicious. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty tired. It is 11.22. Yeah. Okay, it's 11.22 here in Canada. So I think it's later at home. I don't know. I'm so bad at time zones. But I'm going to take a shower and get ready for bed. And I will check in with you guys in the morning. Good morning. Okay, hair's looking really good this morning. Super cute. Okay, that's a little bit better, but <laughs> I slept hard as you can tell. Um, and always have a little chip clip with you on hotel layovers 
because you can use it to close your blackout curtains really tight and there will be no light getting in. You can also use a hanger, but I just use a chip clip. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this view because it's amazing. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do today. Okay, so here is downtown Vancouver. I don't know like what area we're in, but it's pretty. Except these buildings are so close, you can literally like see inside these people's office. And I can see, oh, I can't see over there. At nighttime though, I can see over there. Yeah, it's a little creepy. They can probably see me too, and they're probably like, what is this girl doing? Okay, you guys, first order of business today is eating a donut in bed. So shout out to the girl who gave me an extra donut because now I have one to eat today. And I'm gonna eat this and then probably go to the gym and then we'll come back and get ready to go out and about. This is the old flash fashion glaze and I love these kinds of donuts and this one is so good. So, my breakfast. So good. Mm. It's not snowing. It was snowing when we came in last night, and it said it was gonna snow like all day today, I think. But let's look. Okay, it says it's drizzling right now, but I didn't really see any drizzles, but it said that there's a 100% chance of rain at nine o'clock this morning, and that's just gonna be cloudy all day. So at least it's not gonna rain all day. I'm definitely not gonna get out at nine o'clock because it's going to be raining like crazy. Okay guys, I went ahead and got ready for the day. I changed my mind about working out this morning. I think I'll probably work out tonight if I decide to. I just don't wanna waste any of the daylight or any of the day. So I went ahead and got ready and I made a coffee in the hotel room and they actually had like a flavored coffee pod. It was French vanilla and then I added a creamer. So let's do a taste test. It smells really good. That's not bad. I could do that. Yeah, I just need a little bit to get me started and then we will go out and about. I don't know exactly what I want to do or where I want to go. I know I need to get um, some shopping done for this weekend because I'm going to College Station, which I graduated from Texas A&M, so I'm an Aggie and one of my good friends is getting married and her bridal shower is in College Station because that's where she's from and they've rented an Airbnb for like 25 people so it's going to be like bridal shower and then sleepover and then we'll probably go out in College Station which I'm so nostalgic about. I graduated in 2018 so it's been so long and College Station has just changed so much. It's grown so much. There's more to do. Um, so many restaurants and shopping and stuff and the university is just massive now. We've got the big stadium and the hotel they built next to it. So it just, it makes me feel old whenever I go back there and see how different everything is because College Station is like a pretty like rural area or it used to be. Um, and really the only thing that was going on there was Texas A&M, the university. And yeah, now it's like a little city. It's gonna be like a little Austin one day or something. So I'm just watching all the people down there. I love this big window and the lighting's really good too. I mean, it's kind of dark in here now because I turned all the lights off, but I just prefer the natural light than the yellow lamps. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna research some things to do and I'll let you know when we head out. Okay guys, here's my little outfit for the day. It's nothing special. I'm just wearing my black uniform jacket. I have a black bodysuit on underneath. It's just long sleeve from Abercrombie. The scarf is just a million years old. I'm pretty sure it's from Target. And I've got my gloves in my pocket in case I need them. My jeans are Abercrombie, and then my boots are from DSW. So let's head out. Okay, and you guys, I almost forgot. Anytime I go out on a layover by myself, especially, 
I will take the hotel stationery and write a little note of what I'm doing, where I think I'm going, and what time I plan to be back. Um, just in case anything were to ever happen to me and they came in my room and I wasn't here and I missed check-in or something, they would know, well, this is what I plan to do and if I'm not here, something's wrong. So I'm going to do that now um, just to protect myself, you know, in case something were to ever happen. Oh, and another thing that you should put on your note is what you are wearing. Um, because in case you were to go missing, it's so important that they know the last thing that you were wearing. So I'm going to do that as well. Okay, y'all, here's my little note. It just says, went out to shopping at lunch, plan to be back before dark. I'm wearing blue jeans, black long sleeve top, black puffer jacket, and a gray scarf. So, there we go. Okay, guys, I walked to this park near my hotel. It's like on the water, so it looks really beautiful. And it's so cold, but it's not too bad. Should have brought a thicker coat. coming down on me and I really hope it doesn't start raining bad but there was just like a seaplane that just landed so that was really cool I don't know what all those seaplanes are for but really cool to see in person and so far Vancouver reminds me a lot of Boston shopping and my feet are killing me I've got I got 9,533 steps so that's pretty good I didn't realize how steep Vancouver is so we're kind of more towards the bay I think like the water and as you like walk it up towards the city like it's so steep and it really hurts my ankles um, in these shoes but I did do a little bit of shopping I didn't get anything for like what I was thinking I needed stuff for the bridal shower and being with my friends this weekend but I did find this jacket that I really like at Aritzia. I never bought anything from Aritzia before. Um, I've walked in there before and I know the sales associates they're just doing their job and they're doing what they're trained to do but they're just kind of a little too attentive if that makes sense and I like to just kind of do my own thing when I shop so I think that's kind of why I've never really bought anything from there before, but I really liked this jacket. It's so cute. So it's like a cropped fleece. I just really liked the colors. It's like a, kind of like a grayish, like a gray beige. I don't know. And then like the tan lining. It's so cute. And I just love something that is like cropped um because most of my pants and leggings and stuff are really high waisted so i think a crop is just really flattering so i'm gonna try this on for you guys so you can see what it looks like but it's so cozy and it's good that i didn't do too much shopping because i can't really fit much more in my suitcase but let's try it on so there it is I just think it's so cute. I love it. And it's the brand TNA at Aritzia. I think that's kind of like their active and like loungewear and stuff. 
but I'm really excited. I love this jacket. But now that I am back in my room, I'm gonna rest for a little bit just because my feet are tired from doing so much walking and I really want to get a video posted today. So I'm gonna finish up editing and then try to export and upload that for you guys. And yeah, so if you're watching this, go back and watch my last video. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Okay guys, I've just been in my room. It is, it's 4.08 now. The sun's gonna set at 5.09, I believe. And I did some online shopping. I ordered those pants that I tried on today, but they didn't have my size, so I got those online. And I'm really craving like an almond croissant. I love almond croissants. I love anything almond flavored really, like almond and uh, amaretto. That's my favorite. So I think I'm gonna walk to a coffee shop nearby and hopefully they have some. And then I need to start thinking about what I'm gonna have for dinner. Um, Cause we have a pretty early pickup in the morning. I think it's like 6 a.m. So probably wanna get a big dinner. And then um, we'll probably have breakfast on the plane tomorrow. I think we'll probably have crew meals. So that's what we're doing right now. And I also need to kind of like clean up the room and stuff cause my things are everywhere. But let's go find hopefully an almond croissant. Then here's how I like kind of wore my new jacket that I love. Um, got black leggings and tennis shoes. And then this is a Skims t-shirt underneath, but it's so cold I'm gonna have to put my other jacket on on top. Okay guys, I just got an Asa Evil from a random place and I'm walking back to the hotel and eat this, keep editing. Don't think I'm going to the gym. That does not sound fun right now, but I really like Vancouver and I hope I get to come back soon. Okay y'all, I'm back in my room and I found a croissant. It's a chocolate croissant, it's not almonds, so a little sad about that, but it'll be good in the morning. And then I walked past this like kind of like health food place and they had acai bowls and it just sounded good. Like I wanted something warm because it's cold here, but then I walked past this place and it just looked really good. So, and then I'm going to get my show ready because I can't eat without a show. Let me know if you like that too. I want to finish the episode of The Bachelor that I was watching. So hopefully my Hulu will work here because I know sometimes like streaming services won't work in certain countries so like i think whenever i was in cancun my netflix like wouldn't let me use it international trips like this are always like a little treat for me because i always bring my own food on trips but a lot of times when you're going to other countries you can't do that and so i eat out which i'm not really used to on trips it's kind of fun but i'm gonna eat this and finish watching the bachelor Okay guys, I am all ready for bed. I washed and curled my hair and I put it up in this clip. I like to sleep with my hair usually in a clip like this because I feel like it helps my curls last longer. And I finished um, exporting and uploading a new vlog. I'm going to publish it first thing in the morning though just because it is, it's 10 o'clock here in Vancouver. So I think it's like midnight at home. And I don't really like posting super late at night. I don't know if that really means anything, but I just prefer posting either like in the morning or in the midday. So I'm gonna publish it uh, first thing in the morning while I'm getting ready for work. So that'll be up, go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. And I've got an alarm set for 4.50 in the morning cause uh, pickup is at 6.05 and I just wanna give myself some extra time in the morning. I set so many alarms. That's like five right there, I think four and then I also set like three extra ones on my work phone just cuz I don't know I like to have like multiple devices with the alarms going in case something were to happen to my phone it would still go off on another phone so I need to go to bed I should have stayed up so late but I had things to do so I will see you guys in the morning good night Good morning, you guys from Vancouver. I slept really well last night, so I'm excited for a day of work. We are first working Vancouver to Denver, Denver to San Diego, and then San Diego back to Houston, and that concludes this four-day trip. And our first flight this morning, there's only 79 passengers in the back with a capacity of 150. So that definitely is a light load for those economy flight attendants. I'll be full up front, of course, we always pretty much are full usually with upgrades if the seats aren't all sold. 
So we've got breakfast up front, they've got snacks in the back, and it looks like there's nothing really special going on with this flight. It should be all routine and normal. And then we've got about an hour and a half sit in Denver, so hopefully I can get some lunch while we're there. I have been eating my chocolate croissant for breakfast, and it's pretty good. Um, I just wanna finish it before I go to work because chocolate croissants are messy and I don't want to have chocolate on my face. But should be a good day. Um, we're gonna be on the 737 for this first leg, and then I believe for the flights in and out of San Diego, we'll be on an Airbus, so it'll be just three of us. And yeah, so I will try to film some in the terminal and on the plane, but for now, I will talk to you guys later. Okay guys, I'm here in Denver and our flight from Vancouver was super easy. Morning flights always are. I went ahead and got some food for later. I'm not hungry because I went to chew on the juice before the flight and I got an iced coffee. And I also got the tuna cotta sandwich that like everyone's talking about. And I get the hype, it was so good. So if you have a Joe and Juice, you should definitely go. And I actually just ran into my friend Marcel here in Denver. He is a ramper and he's also a photographer and it takes lots of beautiful pictures of not only our planes, but also our employees. So I love his work. I'll definitely put his Instagram at somewhere on the screen so you guys can check him out. He is so talented and I love running into my friends up there.